Hello friends, this is Bharat and Meena Trivedi. Varsha and Dilip. Sapna. And Gaurav Lal. Suvarna. Aurya. And Manoj Khadi. Ilanga. Sejal Desai. Smita. And Vivek Chaudha. Anjali Desai. T. And Deepak Arora. Pawan. And Rinki Agrawal. Sid. And Archana Nair. Danny. And Rinku Mehta. Meena. And Sunil Kiani. And Vinay Kheria. I'm Johnny Jenkins. Kieran Fincher. Raj. And Aradhna Asava. Together, we support... Hunger and Chow! Good afternoon, friends. Like every week, here we are at our new time of 3.30 p.m. Saturday afternoon, bringing to you the Hunger Mitao radio program, filled with latest updates about hunger in the area and across the United States, as well as sharing information about how the Indian American community is stepping up to become a large part of the solution in fighting hunger. Yes. We are your hosts, Raj and Aradhna Asava, coming to you through the airwaves of Fun Asia, a key partner of ours in this fight against hunger. Friends, through this radio show, in addition to raising awareness about the rampant hunger issue in the USA, we also share ways in which each one of us, in the spirit of Give Where You Live, can and is making a difference. Please visit ntfb.org slash hungermitao to learn how this volunteer movement is unifying the impact of the Indian American community to fight hunger in North Texas and across North America. The website is ntfb.org slash hungermitao. The key word here is unification. While each one of us in, is involved in some sort of charity or other, our dispersed efforts do not allow us to achieve any significant impact nor receive recognition for the philanthropy that the Indian American community is capable of. And is doing. And is doing. But, but mm -hmm. when we join hands and efforts, we are invincible. Yeah. It's like the poem, Raj. Little drops of water, little grains of sand, make the mighty ocean and the pleasant land. I remember Aradha in Hindi, my dad used to say, Boond Boond Banjata Sagar. Mm -hmm. Kankan Banjate Maidan. See, exactly. Yeah. That's a translation. <laughs> Friends, this is our third Saturday show. We are, we are enjoying this Saturday show. Yeah, it's it gives working us a little out bit, really good. It gives us a little bit more time. Yeah. And we are able to bring good information for our listeners. And we are able to actually also include a couple great songs. Songs, yes. Yeah. And, you know, uh, the songs bring so much into our lives, right? It does. So uh, it's very nice to see how many meaningful songs have been written about uh, the act of giving, philanthropy. Inspiration. Inspiration, yeah. absolutely. So in the past two weeks um, of this 30-minute program, we shared with you information about hunger in North Texas, about the Hunger Mitau movement, and how the North Texas Food Bank works. We also highlighted the impact the Indian American community is making through the Hunger Mitau movement by helping feed the food challenge families across North Texas. And multiple ways for each one in the Indian American community to join this awesome, impactful movement. In the process, I'm sure our listeners have wondered that if almost 1 million people across North Texas are struggling with hunger, what does hunger look like across the country? Well, before we were challenged by this pandemic, there were 35 million people across the United States who struggled with hunger. Hmm, large number. Today, that number has risen to a staggering 50 million. Wow. Yes, friends, you heard that right. Almost 50 million people across the USA, and this number includes children, veterans, retirees, single parents, people with health disabilities, hardworking people who do not earn a living wage. Some food banks have experienced a 400% increase in need. At the early stages of the pandemic, almost 50% of the people who were in the long food lines, and we have all seen those long food lines on national TV. Yeah. Fifty percent of those people, Aradna, were first timers. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have never stood in a 
food bank line yeah. waiting to, for a food for handout. charitable food, yeah. Demand, as you can imagine, last year increased while shelves were empty. Mm -hmm. Feeding America and its food network was the only constant dependable food source for the almost 50 million people across America. Would you believe last year Feeding America distributed 6.1 billion meals? Billion, not million. Not million, billion meals. And that was 44% increase year over year. That mind-boggling stats. This is a crisis that has gone on for so long. The CEO of Feeding America, Claire Babineau Fontenot, recently shared with us some incredible learnings through this pandemic year and how they plan to employ these learnings and of course the work that lies ahead. Let's listen to Claire. Yes. So much of what happened, um, we could actually see coming. So there were many factors that contributed to this terrible need that were hidden in plain sight. And we knew from hurricane uh, relief that it just takes longer for vulnerable communities to bounce back. We knew from the last recession uh, that that can be true. We knew that there were tens of millions of people that were right on the edge and that with one more blow, they were gonna go over. We knew that 22 million children in this country before this pandemic were relying upon free and reduced lunch. We knew that some of our partners simply did not have the resilience either. We have 60,000 agency partners and meal programs across our vast network. And not all of them were equipped with the refrigeration that's needed, with the manpower that's needed. And we've known for a while that not all of our partners are equally equipped to weather these types of challenges. And we knew that some communities are simply more vulnerable than others, even among people who are food insecure. That food insecurity is even deeper among certain communities. For instance, I come from the agricultural South. My grandparents were farmers. My parents grew up on a farm and did farming. My dad even had a garden in our neighborhood my whole life. And we had land in the country that we farm. I have a rich history of farming throughout my family's history. And what's happening in rural America is honestly so sad in many cases. The decimation of the agricultural base in these communities in rural America is having a big impact on food insecurity in rural America. We also know that communities of color, no matter where they find themselves, are far more likely to struggle with food insecurity. From somewhere between 1.75 to three times more likely to struggle with food insecurity. So, as we've had these remarkable investments in our work from you and others, we've decided that we're gonna act like we know all of that and that we're gonna work on doing something about each of those things. We are making inordinate investments in transforming how it is that we deliver services to our neighbors. We're gonna leverage digital platforms in ways that we never have before. We've had new partners that have come online to help us with some of those last mile challenges that we've had in the past. But in those digital platforms, not only do we provide people with access to food, we provide them with choice and there's dignity in choice. And we know that sometimes in poverty, there's indignity and we want to work on that. We plan to advance equity. We're gonna make inordinate investments in rural hunger and in communities of color. I'm gonna get a chance to talk some more about some of the things that we're doing in communities of color, but I want you to know that it's not exclusively there, but it must include communities of color, but we've gotta do something about what's happening in rural America as well. And we will be doing something about that. Also, when we talked about the fact that not all of our agency partners are equally equipped to help, we're gonna make inordinate investments in those agency partners. We refer to it as accelerating community impact by actually 
going in, understanding our partners, understanding what their needs are, and helping them to get the things that they need so they can be even better partners in communities. And we also talk some about federal nutrition programs. I want to just give give you guys access to one data point um, about one federal nutrition program. Let me talk about SNAP for just a moment. As remarkable as our fabulous network is, and they are remarkable, and I'm sure you will agree, we have data that shows that a program like SNAP Not only is it good for people facing hunger, but it's good for the economy. That for every $1 that you invest in a program like SNAP, $2 are returned to the economy. That includes small local businesses and large businesses and everything in between. We also know that for every one meal that we're able to provide, SNAP can provide about nine. So it stands to reason that we will be investing both on the policy side as well as the access side. Millions of people who currently qualify for federal nutrition programs don't know that they do. And there are some regulatory environments that make some of those who know that they might not be able to access the benefits that they're entitled to. And we're gonna invest in making certain that we match people with the benefits that they are already entitled to. And that we help um, our legislators to know about how powerful and important these types of initiatives are today and in the future. So those are the areas that we're gonna really be leaning in on, and we're gonna need your help in order to do that. What a tremendous effort. It could not have been taken on by any one person or organization. Each one of us has contributed to this. This has been a combined success, friends. Often people ask, what can I do? And some even say, I can't do much. Friends, everyone can do something when it comes to basic necessities such as hunger. RJ AB, would you please play this song, Tum Be Sahara Ho To Kisi Ka Sahara Bano? That's such an inspirational song, Raj. Listeners, if you know anyone who needs food assistance, please have them visit ntfb.org for information about distribution dates and sites. In today's challenging times, What food banks need is dependability, sustained support. One of the biggest fear has been donor exhaustion. Right. At Hangar Mitao, we are proud and happy that we are not able to only provide support to the food bank, but our support is spread over multiple years through the Hangar Mitao sponsorship circles. On that front, we also have some exciting news. We have several people signing up for the Hunger Mitao circles. Also, people who have been circle members are renewing their commitment. That's so exciting. It is. I mean, for instance, our good friends Mukta and Deepak Arora are taking their support to the next level. They have been regular volunteers at the North Texas Food Bank, and Deepak has served on the Hunger Mitao Steering Council and continues to serve. He does. They recently made a multi-year pledge of 10,000 meals for the food insecure served by the North Texas Food Bank. You know, one thing Deepak said to me, Mm. he said, Raj, all I'm doing is giving up one dinner out a month and I'm able to enable 10,000 meals. Yeah. Isn't that powerful? It's powerful when you think about it that way. Thank you, Deepak and Mukta, for the multiple ways through which you hunger Mitao. We also have Namrata and TJ Patel of Home Care to Go app who have joined one of the sponsorship circles and have committed to enable 25,000 meals for the food challenge, children, seniors, veterans, and families in the North Texas area. And several of our existing circle members have renewed their commitment for the next three years. Raj, remember three years ago, Veena and Sunil Khiani were actually the first ones to sign up to be circle members supporting Hunger Mitao. How can I forget that? (laughs) They have been very committed and engaged volunteers and have just renewed their commitment with a pledge of an additional 25,000 meals. Wow, that means they have enabled 50,000 meals with their renewal. That's incredible. That is amazing. Manisha and Sanjeev Agarwala, (laughs) we thank you for your sustained support. Not only were they one of the early champions, but they have also renewed their commitment with a pledge of an additional 10,000 meals. 
and then Sejal and Hemang Desai, mm -hmm. also from the group of early supporters, exactly. have been fierce, fierce supporters of Hunger Mitao and have renewed their pledge with an additional 25,000 meals. Right. Rajita and Gurmeet Singh, they have volunteered at the food bank, have been very strong advocates. They have also shared the Hunger Mitao movement through their personal and professional circles. Yes. Raj, remember when Hunger Mitao was conceptualized, we envisioned that this model should scale across not only the Indian American community across cities in the US, but also to other communities, ethnic or otherwise. Yeah, actually we, we felt that any group of people, right, who call themselves a community should be able to leverage this model. And that's why we templatized everything. Exactly. Yep. It is so exciting to share with our listeners today that the North Texas-based Chinese community has been working with us and is very close to launching their own version of Hunger Mitao. All right. So let me understand that. So the Chinese American community has stepped up. They love the Hunger Mitao model mm -hmm. and they are going to implement that for the Chinese community across North Texas? That's correct. Wow. You know what they're calling their movement? Ni Hao. Wow. <laughs> All <me> elements <laughs> of the Hunger Mitao model have been borrowed by them and we look forward to volunteering together with them in the, hopefully the very near, near future. Yep. I'm excited to also share that Hunger Mitao has received an official certificate of commendation from the city of Plano, Texas government, signed by our own Plano Mayor, Harry Larosolier, for providing more than 10 million meals to hungry North Texans. That's phenomenal. That was. And also friends, as many of you know, the WFAA Telethon for North Texas Food Bank was heavily staffed by Hunger Mitao volunteers. And Hunger Mitao was one of the major sponsors for this event. This was a first time telethon and NTFB was hoping to raise 1 million meals. Well, guess what friends? North Texas Food Bank on that one day raised 1.6 million meals through 2,744 gifts that were either given online or people dialed in for that. We live in such a generous community. We do. We actually make up a very generous community. That's, that's, right? what, that's better. I think I like the way you put it. Yeah. And Hunger Mitao Spring Food Drive in North Texas has now raised more than $25,000. That's right. And we have an upcoming event that I would like you all to know about. Mm -hmm. The first ever Hunger Mitao Golf Open is all set for April 24th. And Aradna is almost sold out. Is it? Yes. In fact, the early bird... Uh, Deadline was March 31st, but we have gone ahead and extended it through April 5th. Okay. So if people are interested to sign up and take advantage of the early bird discount while getting out there, golfing and benefiting the North Texas Food Bank at the same time. The time is now. The time is now. And how do they do that? So I'll tell you how you do that. And I hope you will also help us spread the word widely. Details are at ntfb.org slash Hunger Mitao. Individual registration as well as sponsorship opportunities are available. That's correct. Friends, the Hunger Mitao show is about the need in the community we live in and a call for each of you to engage. We are living in very strange and uncertain times, afraid of what lies ahead. That's right. We need to continue to stay safe vigilant and careful. However, let us not give in to fear, friends. Remember, life is beautiful. Let's live each day to its fullest. Let's be generous, be kind, be caring, be our best. Here's a song that I grew up with, which many of you, I'm sure everybody knows this, that speaks to the beauty of life and the way to live it to its fullest. RJAB, please, Play this beautiful song, Zindagi Ek Safar Hai Suhana. Yaha kal kya ho, kisne jana? So true. So true. Well, friends, as we close our program today, we thank you all for your generosity and for caring about others around you. North Texas's Indian American community, 
Thank you. Thank you for caring, for volunteering, for helping organize awareness events, for running food drives, for making donations, for becoming multi-year donors, for giving your time, skill, for giving in kind. And Fanasia, thank you for becoming the mouthpiece for Hunger Mitao. We look forward to your ongoing support and count on your involvement as we move towards the next milestone of 25 million meals enabled by Hunger Mitao for North Texas Food Bank. Hunger Mitao 2.0, Aradha. <laughs> <laughs> Our mission, friends, is Hunger Mitao. And Hunger Mitao is as much about eradicating hunger as it is about unifying the fragmented efforts of our community and focusing it on the humanitarian cause of hunger. Let us come together as the entire Indian American community and show how we engage in any place we call home. We are smart, compassionate change agents who give where we live so our community benefits from our presence. Until next week, friends, remember, while we may never be able to eradicate hunger, let us ensure no one goes hungry. Hunger, Hunger Mitao. Mitao.